Welcome to part 2 of session 11 of the Keepers of the Golden Gate. I am Brian, it is 12th of July 19, I'm the GM, here's the players. Hi, I'm Callum, I play Eric Greenwood. Human Sorcerer. They don't need to know that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they. <laughs> those people who watch. Are you? Um, I think she's still muted. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, do seem a bit quick. Arya is there, and she does does play a half elf druid. <laughs> that is true. Uh, and uh, I, but I'm, I think I'm Arya is the half elf druid, and Adri plays yeah. her. But that's fine. We'll come back to and Arya. I, it's I, fine. I, I, I'm also here. Yeah, and I play I I play a uh, Crumbar, who's a half orc paladin. And you're called Scott. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> I'm Sophie. I play Kitty the Kill. It's a Baxi Rogue. Oh, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. Still no. Still no, are you? Nope. You did say she was back. She definitely did. But, I mean, we'll get into it at some point in an hour time, probably. It's fine. It's fine. Um, Whether it was a proper one, like me and Kumba. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I know how to intro. Same. So right. you. So. So. The door slams. Do we stick with Reach and Crumble, or do we click to every day getting their shit together? A lot of character development crushed into like a, a scene change, you know, but. Yeah, pretty much getting all our stuff together, so yeah, which is pretty much the case of me just putting on my back, I think. So, yeah, so pretty much everybody like having slung their backpacks on. Yep. Uh, yeah. Anybody else got anything they want to do just before they leave? You've still got about 15 or so minutes, give or take. Plug. Yeah. Nah, well, let's just leave. <laughs> like, let's just leave. <laughs> um, okay, anything you want to do before you go, 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 Crunch, 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 crunch. Scorpions. Uh, Eric, anything you want to do before you go? Uh, I'm just going to tuck my book into my robe instead of in my bag. Okay. So, like, carrying it on your person? Yes. Going to be like a very traditional spellcaster look now, holding a book in one arm? Yes. <laughs> cool. it could go very awry, but you know. I mean, let's talk about action economy versus hands as well totally fine to do so and you've got one free hand right so one free hand and holding a book totally fine combo if you want to hold your hammer and the book you have no free hands to cast spells that require semantic components just as a heads up well good oaks that's fair i mean if we're about to go into a fight it'll be like doink yeah Come. that's Tuck, tuck into the room. That, or you can say, please cast spells at this book. <laughs> <laughs> this book is your mortal enemy. <laughs> Haha! Throw it at them. <laughs> but, um, you know. It's like a boomerang. Yeah. Only a book. Um, so, yeah, that's fine. I just wanted to give you a heads up on that because visually cool, tactically not great, but visually cool. Um, Visually is what we go for. I'm going to just tag Arya in a wee uh, where are you post because yeah she's done something that involves not being here and I don't know what that is but okay we'll, we'll get to her. Either way because I mostly need to know what the hell she's doing with Ruya because it's her bird to sort out because I mean Aramal's just left it flying around outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks Aramal. <laughs> Goodbye birdie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we might have to like flash back to that when we get Arya back. Um, but yeah, so he's head down to like, I guess like the main entrance way then really, like where he's were told to meet. Which, if it wasn't the main entrance way it now is. And yeah, he's assembled there, you obviously have the the whole paladin lineup with you guys. Um, for those of you who don't remember. I'll go back down the list. So, you've got High Commander Gil, uh, you've got Paladin Arnold, Paladin Broga, Paladin Latana, and Paladin Cilia. And they're all with you. 
quite a few then. Yeah. Are they all paladin paladins, or are they like different class paladins? I think Selena will be a vampire. But anyway. Well, none of none of that terminology exists in the game, really. You know, <laughs> like people people are people, right? And some people are were people. Um, but yeah, they're all considered paladins of the Golden Order, just like how you, as a paladin, are considered a paladin, and Reach, as a monk, is considered a paladin. Because mm. you're part of the Golden Order. It's more like a a title than it is a class. In this, no, I was just I was just wondering, like, if any of them were more so any healers or tank. Or, well, I mean, you know, the high commander is a healer, or at least Eric very much definitely knows that. Oh yeah, reliable as well. So, uh, yeah, but then I don't think the high commander's abilities were in question, given A is the high commander, and B you saw him rebuild his room after he trashed it, <laughs> fighting himself I oh, guess. Oh yeah that was pretty badass. So and he's with you so yeah not bad not bad at all. Uh, Arnold is human, Broga is a dwarf, female dwarf obviously Arnold's a male human, uh, Lytana is a female human and Cilia is a male elf. Cilia. Yep. Celia was the one that was like, do we have to train? You know, when he's in the training room last time. And he was like, why are we doing this? <laughs> this is beneath us. <laughs> yeah. He was the one that just was like, I've got better stuff to do than this. But also, Broga was showing oh, them. So. What the hell? Oh, sorry, I've clicked on something. And it <laughs> randomly <laughs> accidentally searing smite yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Fire, game over. <laughs> you died. Right. Oh, dark so, uh, you're assembled at the main gates, ready to leave. Uh, <laughs> you're going to take uh, camels as far as you can, but you'll basically be travelling for a day by camel, and then those camels will just be <laughs> left to to return on their own. Um, yeah, because they're not going to want to go any further. Welcome back. Do you want to do your intro, personally? <laughs> oh, sorry. I could hear people. I just didn't think to unmute myself. My god. Uh, yeah, do you want to do your intro? Hi, this is Adrian. I play Arya, the half elf druid. There we go, perfect. Uh, but yeah, so you obviously just for a checkpointing, then you go and hand Ruya off to one of the like, what's the word? One of the a animal handlers like people. The yeah. Avery of this place, I guess, right? Like that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Avery. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you had. And you can see it breaking my heart. <laughs> yeah, and it's just like. Please take care of her. It's maybe some random, a, uh, let's see, elf woman probably. Um, mm. looks after the birds, and she just kind of like, yeah, okay, you know, random strange tree lady. Um, but yeah, obviously, uh, do you want to roll animal handling? I know you're likely to just crit yes. it, but let's uh. I won't crit it now because it's important. <laughs> it's gonna be like flailing about and be like, "Don't go." This is that exact scene I'm about to describe. Yeah, no, it's it's not an ideal departure, but it's one of those, you know, kind of like hesitating, but eventually it does perch on her arm, sort of thing. Yeah, and then just does that longing stare back at you as you walk away. You mean person leaving me here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, guilting me. I've I've seen just seen that from my cat, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Getting used that, to it. <laughs> that is the guilt. Yep. But you've you've successfully lodged Ruya within the citadel, which is a uh, sounds more violent than I intended to. But um. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> like <laughs> she left me. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Oh hell Poor no. Um, but yeah, so. Poor birdie. Yeah, he's a. The the high commander's not really one for words, so he pretty much just says mount up, and then uh, gets on a camel and heads out. All the other paladins jump on camels and head off. There's camels provided for you guys. I mount I, up I, as well. They really would if there wasn't. Clumber up on a camel. You get a camel, and, and you get a camel, and you get a camel, <laughs> and you get a camel. Get a camel. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, had to do that. Sorry. It's okay. 
And yeah, you just travel for a bit. Uh, do you have any conversation on the way over Because I mean, it's basically just going to be a day of travelling, right? Via Camel at night. So yeah, if anybody wants to say anything to each other or to any of the paladins or whatever, it's up to you guys. But I'm happy to just... Crunch. Still eating yeah. scorpion. Nom 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 nom. I think we're okay just to travel at the moment. Did Maybe. you put some in your pockets or what? She's probably just holding the skewer, right? That's probably still got yeah. some on it. <laughs> they are definitely crunchy, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I think maybe that's what we just hear then, is just every now and then just... <laughs> <laughs> from the cat. Um, <laughs> Eremos has been silent the whole time. I'm going to chill at the back and just be like dead moody. Does, does Eremos get his own camel or...? Uh, there was a camel provided, but whether or not somebody told him to ride with them, I don't know. So, <laughs> why don't we have that decision made now? Who's uh, going to take Aramos, or are you going to let him have his own camel? Nothing. I mean, he should ride with someone. Yeah. Take him. Yeah. I'll take him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Big enough yeah. to be on his own, probably, but okay. Yeah, so now I think he'll arrive with Reach because he rode on the way here t with Reach. So. I'm not carrying much weight either, anyway. So. Yeah, he's got all your blings on your wrists, man. Yeah. <laughs> your Rolexes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so. You travel, there's no. Like. Remember, like, Eremos was playing with, like, ink and stuff before? Like, he was kind of, like, distracting himself, etc. Yeah, he's just, like, dead silent. Just. Yeah. Moody. Yeah, very much so. Probably much like Eric is at the back um, of the, the kind of uh, convoy, as it were. The elf guy, uh, Cilia, he's at the back as well. So you've got High Commander up front, you've then got um, Broga next, and then you've got, like, in the middle, you've got Arnold and uh, Latana, the two humans. Uh, and they've mostly just been talking to each other about, like, nothing, you know. The equivalent of playing I Spy on the way, but it's dark <laughs> and they, they're both human what dust, they don't have them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it sand as well? Sea. Is it camel? You know. Aye. Uh, like, just, you're like, they've clearly, they clearly know each other quite well. They might be better off uh, stargazing or whatever, just saying. I mean, that's, if they had any knowledge about stargazing, you're probably totally right, yeah, but they. They clearly just do this to wind each other up, you know, like that kind of misery loves company vibe. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they definitely have like a bit of chemistry uh, with each other. Celia's at the back, Woo being pretty as well. Mo more Black Widow and the Hawkeye vibes, you know, um, with these two. Uh, Broga's obviously playing the right hand man very well up front uh, with the commander, and you guys can be like scattered in between them, but they've basically got the convoy flanked, as it were. So you've got Obviously, Arnold and uh, Lytana kind of at either side of you guys as they're shouting to each other in the middle. You've got a uh, uh, Gil and Broga up front, and Celia at the very back. Uh, mostly because Celia is just like that. Leave them to it, type vibe. Mm -hmm. He's an elf. He's he thinks he's better than <laughs> being dragged to the abyss. He probably didn't want to go. Aye. But yeah, so that's the kind of makeup of the party, and you guys will be in the middle, mostly because you're civilians and now. Gilfield's part responsible for you guys. <laughs> so, what's the topic of conversation, if any? Because if there isn't, I'm happy just to skip to the part where uh, she's get rid of the camels. Yeah, I got anything to say? No. Yeah, I don't think I'd have anything to say. So, so is it quite like uh, a somber journey then? <laughs> as well. Yeah. I was gonna say it's we're walking off to the trenches. We're not all going to be singing. Yeah, like it's. That. I've got that vibe of now the scene in Wonder Woman where she's crossing the bridge and she's super hyped to go to the war, but all the people returning from the war are like devastated, and then she yeah. gets the weight of war that hits her. Yeah, mm. I've got like that vibe of a tone for the, you guys being like in deep thought, um, and uh, the only thing kind of punctuating the kind of, I guess, the dark moodiness of the whole thing will be. Arnold and uh, Lytana, like, shouting back and forth to each other. Um, just, like, maybe, like, just random background noise, you know, to everybody's kind of thought process that they're all locked in. Um, like, maybe at this point, Reach as well, like, you're going through your head going, okay, get in, do what we have to do, get the kid out, train the kid up, 
you know, learn about the kids. You know, that vibe, maybe you're, you're starting to make your plan about what you could yeah. do with them. Um, maybe that's like just a thought process that everyone's going through. They're doing th- like, what's their in, what's their out, you know. Um, like, what is running through Eric's head? Because that's something that's interesting. Because, yeah, Eric doesn't necessarily have the same drive as everybody else here. Um, more like not a lot it's more um, he's not happy that we're bringing Erebus um, we're and oh. we're kind of like I say we as in me and Eric <laughs> uh, we, we're just I don't know hold up thinking about what the letter contains what's in his book who the hell the mistress is like, mm. and if I'll ever get to see my parents again, because we have to go to this evil place. Indeed, yeah, it's quite a quite a weighty weighty time in Eric's life, I guess. Yeah, but yeah, and I think absent-mindedly, everybody's kind of like brought out of their their deep thought as the uh, the high commander, obviously, is like issuing commands. Uh, he dismounts, he tells everybody else to dismount. Um, and then obviously like, the camels are getting sent away at this point, so everybody takes all their gear off, all the paladins suit up properly like with their backpacks and stuff and all their gear. And uh, like, he's look around and... What's the best thing? Arya, can you roll a nature check? Sure. That's fine, that's good enough. There has been no, no animals of any kind. No, like, noises at night. No anything, like, the closer you've been getting to the abyss. It's just nothing. No bird song, no animal, no the land wolves it, howling in even the, the dark. Yeah. The land, no. as I say, even the land itself is different. Like, it's, it's harder, it's rockier, it's drier. It's kind of more like arid rock than it is, like, deserty sand. As well. How far away yeah. are we? Uh, it's been a whole like, say, night's travel, if you will, um, to the point where the camels ain't willing to go any further. So, I mean, they start to get a bit antsy and restless, and that's the, that's the cue to get rid of them. Mm-hmm. Crumbar, hating being on a camel, jumps off. And Roll like a <laughs> Roll like a Ah, why not? Let's see how. how oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, oh. you do. Nice. nice. Yep. Nice, nice. Jumps off, kind of giving it a bit of a superhero landing. <laughs> and then as he stands up, you just hear like all these bones just crack back into Like, you know that way, like when you just stand up mm-hmm. after for ages and your body just feels amazing. Just that kind of way. And he's just like, ah, oh, I hate camels. <laughs> yeah. And the camel just spits like in the background, just randomly at its feet. Um, as well, and then... she hates you too. I'm half fork. I don't think like you. I'm yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Suspension's a bit dodgy now. Um, but yeah, and I think um, Broga just quickly like grabs all the, the camels, smacks them on the ass, and then they all run back. You know, pretty much. They well, t- they run away at least anyway. And the assumption they is they've been trained again. <laughs> well, I mean. They seem they to think. Food yeah. Back at the set there, so they're yeah. likely going to go there. So, um, that or they'll just get lost, right? And then yeah. be the next watch's meal, most likely. So, something will happen to them. Uh, yeah. So, you all start to like travel by foot, and this is like the next part of like say, uh, at least a day. Um, you all need to eat at least a ration. Unless you have something that means you don't eat, but there are no, there's no wildlife to hunt for those of you that would normally hunt. So ration burn one. And is anyone feeding Aramos? Yeah, no, I'll feed them at the not moment. my choice. Okay, so you need to mark a ration for him as well. Yeah. Who's feeding them? Me. Rich. Me. Yeah. Katie doesn't share food. <laughs> Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kitty's a fat kitty. But yeah, so like a whole other day of 
traveling again if MD has anything they want to RP at any point use let me know just weigh in when you want like the the group of paladins you are with Gil doesn't say much at all like he pretty much stands guard keeps watch makes sure people perform the duties they've been assigned like set up camp do this do that you know very efficient uh, all the rest of them Broga will join in conversation eventually but will not start it um, and will occasionally just throw in comments as if I was also there too type vibes you know um, like telling it as it was as opposed to how people want to remember situations uh, as I said Lytana and uh, Arnold talk a lot and then them talking highlights how bored Celia gets all the time so he joins in conversation a lot as well but mostly it's just to have a go at those two. That's when Broga steps in. So you can tell they know each other, right? They've they've been around in the order long enough to become worthy enough to go on a trip like this, you know. Whether or not Celia feels worthy is a different question. But uh Celia probably just feels punished. Um but yeah. So I'm just gonna go, gonna go to the camp's edge and just kinda of stare out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so are you going to go like near other people, or are you going to go off to your own, or off on my own? It's up chill. I think like as you like go to leave the kind of vicinity of like the f the camp like fire light, as it were, Broga just says, "Don't wander too far." Just kind of looks at you over the fire. Don't even look at it. Don't say anything. Just carry on walking. I think as you go, like, like do you stop to like indicate you acknowledge that, or do you keep just going? Just keep going. Yeah, I think then she just shouts louder. I said, don't go too far. You know, like as if she obviously thinks she didn't hear. <laughs> she just kind of bellows it after you. Again, just carry on going. She just kind of shakes her head and goes back to like whatever she was eating. Um, probably scorpions, let's face it. And uh, Oh yeah, crunchy. Yeah, crunch, crunch, crunch. Um, and so stackable. But um, oh, yeah. Emily doing anything camp before you settle in for the night because it's then the uh, abyss o'clock after that. Yeah, it, no, but it's settle in for the day by the way, so we would be half a fire. But oh yeah. Is it not? Is it late late night? You have travelled for at least a day now, by the way. So right, you're back around you. tonight. <laughs> mm. right. Right. Like so, yeah, you have basically travelled. Realistically, it's over a day's travel by now. Um, good chunk of that was taken up by camel and now you're at the point where you're on foot and you're about to get to the edge of the uh, like the northernmost tip of the abyss yeah uh, but yeah so not nope. eager to get there so mm -hmm. carry on and also cooking stuff to make it like more like viable fires are handy for that shit um yeah. mm -hmm. uh, even just like heating up water do you know what I mean for various purposes um can I not get boiling water out my thing uh, well it has been a new dawn since so if you want to decide that your thing has water in it you can no I was I was gonna see if I could we had like I could use boiling water out of it but no it's just fresh and salt water no I was just just wondering why but I mean do you wanna no temperature decide no. what it is it's, it's from bar so it's gonna probably still be beer or, beer or wine Cool. Yes. So, how much water do you have on you, Crumbar? Because uh, on my person, uh, yeah. Because we're gonna need to start marking off our water skins. I was waiting for that. Yep. <laughs> Me too. Nah. Yeah, I have one. I'm gonna make some water up trips. How much water can you make? I can make eight gallons of fresh water. And how much 12. water is in a water skin? No I have no idea. Actually, tell you, I've got four water skins anyway, so we're sorted for a wee while. Let's see. Four pints. Can hold up to four pints of liquid. God, can someone do the maths for me? Many. Shed pints. loads. Yeah, shed loads. Uh, so, one gallon equals eight pints. Right, and you can make eight gallons. Yeah, so That's... I get. Eight gallons. That's sixty-four pints. Right. So you can just keep. <laughs> you can just can just top up every these water skins, and after the first day, because I think you need to drink. Is it four? Is it four pints, or is it two pints of water a day? Reach. Uh, four. Four pints. Or so it's four two pints. Two liters. 
You're supposed to drink four pints no. of water N -D -D. per day, but nobody N -D -D. actually really does. Oh, there are rules. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. 5e Sorry. drinking rules. Let's see. <laughs> Can Crumbar get drunk? <laughs> Let's see. Wow. Two gallons per day if the weather is hot. User trying your best to avoid hot weather. Uh, so it is a gallon a day. Quick, share that water out, Crumbar. One gallon of water per day. So. One gallon of water per day. Uh, one gallon equals what was it? Eight pints. Uh, yeah, yeah, one gallon. One g eight equals eight p. Uh, your water skin equals eight gallons. Four pints, right? Wasn't that right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Water skins. Uh, right. So you basically need two water skins a day. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna so, just drink from my jug. So Crumbar, you're gonna make water. I assume, right? Yeah. Well, and I'm gonna make six to four pints. And I'm gonna be making food for everybody. Well, you don't need to make food for everybody because everybody's got rations, right? Yeah, but why use rations when I can use good berries? I think because everybody marked off a ration already. Our rations. It's up so to you. Well, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, I'm gonna make sure that, like, from tomorrow onwards, we can retro, like, like we can, while we're in there, we can retcon it if you wanted to have done that, but. It's up to you if you want to use the spell slot, because it's not a day till you reach the abyss now. Yeah, at the moment it's not needed, but yeah, if we get down to mm -hmm. two, three rash, probably. Yeah, not. yeah, like, I'm, I'm just going to make sure I mm -hmm. remember. <laughs> have that handy and remember and that sort of thing. And, you know, we might sometimes want a bit of variety from just our rations, because I'm guessing rations are usually boring stuff like cheese and bread and... Like hard tack. That sort yeah. of stuff that... that keeps well so it, you, we probably will be bored of eating the same thing like two or three days in a row so I'll but be yeah. like look so moving forward that's the horrible water rules enjoy welcome to the need to drink so there are at least six of you uh, so all of this is for six people mm -hmm. the golden order are obviously sorting themselves out other golden order holds this uh, so like <laughs> yeah the party and the golden order yes <laughs> there's some crossover in the middle um, a venn diagram if you will but yeah so uh, if you're all happy with that we can skip to the the descent sure cool uh, right so you travel again for a, you know a good maybe I, uh Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry, my brother. And <laughs> it's okay. Hello. Um, <laughs> Crumbar meets some of his family on the way. Uh, <laughs> randomly waves to them. Then he's got attacked by an orc band. You know. Brother, let's kill them. <laughs> and then you're like, nope. Sorry, I need these ones. No, I think it just screen wipes to a like a, a cooked cat on a spit. I think that's what happens. It's just the end of the game at that Shop point. But anyway, back in our game. Get to the part where um, Gil kind of uh, says to Broga, get everybody prepared. And then uh, Broga goes round everybody. Uh, that isn't obviously a Golden Order Paladin NPC. <laughs> And goes to everybody and hands you all these uh, like kind of necklace things with big heavy lockets on the ends of them. Put these on. And she kind of just like throws them like at your chest, if you will. Okay. What are these? And like she's she's not there to answer questions. Like she's kind of marching past everybody to make sure everybody's got one at that point. What did it look like? Uh, like a necklace with a big gold kind of uh, medallion on it. I presume I've got one already. Nope. Uh, no. Nope. Okay. She's handing them out to it? all of you. Um, can, I just, mm. can I just check something in a minute? <laughs> yeah. Mind Mate. when we... <laughs> mind that jester person. Yeah, the, like the it? courier person. Yeah. What was it the letter said again? Don't know. 
Mm-hmm. It said uh, Crumbar Dinabic on the front of it. Yeah, and we couldn't open it, could we? Correct. Can I try opening Despite the letter? Despite mm-hmm. yeah. the efforts. With your teeth, or are you going to use your hands? I'm going to use my hammer, obviously. No, I'll just try... Um... <laughs> There's a letter opener at the other end of it, you see. <laughs> you know, um, so after getting handed this amulet, um, I reach into my pocket and pull out that envelope and try and open it. Yeah, um, it doesn't open. I just kind of grunt and just kind of stuff it back in my pocket. Okay, and um, Broga just stares at everybody like with the box under her arm. He's like, "Well, put them on." Okay. Yeah. Put it on. You can see that she's wearing one, yeah. uh, like everybody else is. You can't tell if um, Gil's wearing one, his armor's too fancy. Right. I don't Equips, recognize the necklace. You'd need to roll to see if you recognize it, and it would be a arcana check at disadvantage. Oof, I don't want me to know that. I think it's more just the, this is a really specific purpose, and I know you've not needed to use it, so... Uh, I, it looks like a fancy medallion. Right. Yeah. yeah. Got a shine to it, know you know, but that's about yeah. it. Shiny. I just kind of, mm. while equipping it, I just kind of ask, like, what's this necklace for? She kind of just looks at you, and then she's looking at everybody as if... You can tell she's going to answer these questions when everybody's got them on. So she looks around the group. Has everybody got them on? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Are you? All good? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm hesitant, but at the same time, I understand that, you know, she's probably not gonna put us in danger. And then uh, she looks at your reach, and then she looks at the kid, and the kid's just kind of like looking at this thing. But he ain't wearing it. She expecting me to. As if deal with your child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dad. I must put on a bracelet there. It's probably a good idea. With well, a necklace, but yeah. Necklace, even yeah, good point. A bracelet for you might be a necklace for him, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he puts. He just kind of like begrudgingly like goes, grumbles a bit and puts it on, and he kind of just like picks it up again and stares at it. And uh, they've all got like the, like the symbol of the Golden Order, the big dragon, face yeah. on them. Um, of course. And she's like, right, cool, good, very good. Probably doesn't say cool. It's a desert for hot. And then, eh, uh, right. The easier to stop is going, you know, splat at the bottom. Just kind of nods once. Oof, oh, what? Right. Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> These are to stop is going splat at the bottom. It's a necklace of slow fall. Yeah. Cromber just smiles and I mean, jumps head. Sadly, Reach ball. definitely doesn't come to that conclusion with his name. <laughs> you know, he doesn't buy <laughs> no. a slow fall is. <laughs> Does he, though? <laughs> yeah, because he's hopefully going to learn it soon. Doesn't mean to say he knows what it is yet. <laughs> There'll be one day you fall and you'll be glad that your character did that development. <laughs> um, but not with a 9 on your arcana check, you don't. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the um, she's like, we're nearing the jump. And mm. she just uh, looks at the box as if, what am I going to do with this? just throws it away. Uh, sounds like we might have some fun here, but... We'll mm. <laughs> can I just run and jump off? And be like, wee! Yeah. Oh shit! You can. Oh, in fact, no, no, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna wait because we might actually just get a chance to eat the kid off the side. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was hoping for the part where you just all ran and jumped in, and they're almost like, yeah, screw this, <laughs> just leave. <Yeah. laughs> I'm, I'm getting back I'm, there. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my library. <laughs> so, Sophie, you want to roll a d20 to see who gets to kick the kid off the edge? <laughs> Well, why don't we wait and see what happens first, Scott, shall we? Hmm, very much so. Uh, I could. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I win. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> um, in- interesting that one's green and one's a pink, though. Well, it's because of your colours. It's your colours. Yeah. That's what it is. Good. Um, uh, that's kind of yeah. cool. I didn't know I did that. I, think I, d- I just imagine me and, me and Crumb Bastard like just to the side of the group like doing rock paper scissors. <laughs> 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 or is it like dragon wizard hooded woman? Is that what the new version is? Like, uh... But yeah, so the high commander says yep, 
we're nearing the jump point. Uh, you sort of travel for another good bit, uh, another maybe hour or so, into like some really precarious cliffs. Lots of kind of like twisted formations of rock and such. Um, out of the corner of your eye, you can you swear that you are seeing like maybe like animals slither away, but as soon as you look, slither away, like at the corner of your eye. But when you look, there's nothing there. That's like hmm. the type of vibe you've had for the last eight hour or so. It's very kind of um, like there is stuff there, but there isn't stuff there vibe um, that you get for this last hour. It's, it's if like I was trying to figure out what that's from, what sort of check would it be? A, a DM knowledge check, sadly. Oh. Um, I mean, yeah, there's no. Sure. Like, would you be looking to find out, like, am I seeing things? Like, does that mean, like, you, you know you're seeing things because you're looking, because you go, oh, there's something at the corner of my but then there's nothing there, right? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The, the part I'm skipping is the perception check that gets you no information, sure. if that makes sense, because there's no point having you guys roll on something that I'm happy to tell you. You would sure, take time sure. to try and look at stuff that maybe catches your attention for an hour walk mm. at least, but there's nothing. Sure. Like, even to the point where you might go off trail, lift the rock you think it went under, and there's nothing under there. Yeah. You know, like it's you're it's welcome to have had that much detail for this, but it's just a bit, a bit uncanny. Sure. Wow. Well, it kind of makes sense that we're approaching weird stuff. So yeah, makes sense. Scott, focus. I am. On this. <laughs> All right. So. With that as well, I uh, you get to the part where you are standing over just this dark, just drop. It's like a kind of cliff face that kind of overhangs a bit. So there's when you look down, you don't see like the rock wall or anything, and it's just like you look so far down, and it just becomes like a black kind of pit. So the commander looks down the line at everyone. We get in. We stay together, we find out what the disturbance is, and we get back out. If we get separated, any of the paladins have these, and he pulls out his, uh, his kind of like golden rod that he has on his hand, and he pulls it out, and it's the wand of pyrotechnics. I'm literally reading that up the Yep, and it's the, essentially it's a flare gun, that's what you need to think of it as. Rechargeable flare yeah. gun. And he's like, signal, if need be. And then he kind of nods once. And then all the uh, the four paladins, like, all nod, like, in unison. Take that one step back, and then all of them run and jump in. Now, the high commander looks at everyone else. Uh, and nods to the pit. Okay. I just... Crumbar steps forward and goes, make sure the kid comes down too, and then just jumps down. Whee! Before I jump, how do we get back out? And then the high commander looks and goes, surely you mean if? Oh no, I mean how. <laughs> but... We'll climb. Okay, bit of a tough climb, but okay. Uh, I brought my rope, I don't think I brought 200 meters, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. right. Come on, Ermos, grab him by the hand, and yeah. <laughs> Ermos is like, <laughs> if he could swear. <laughs> 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 I think as you go and like take him by hand, he, like, he pulls his hand away and he's like, no, I can do it. And Ken just looks at you. Okay, right. Yeah, I'll wait. And he's like, I know you're brave enough. He like he edges forward a bit and looks into just like darkness, and he's like, is it, "Will we go on three? Is this where yeah. Kitty just boots him off? <laughs> I know, like yeah, a, and three. And then um, he is looks at your reach. Three, I go on four, of course. <laughs> uh, I think then, yeah, like he runs and he jumps on three. Yep. Obviously, I utter betrayed. Know. But yeah. Quickly, yeah. So you chase after him. Everybody else jump in? Yeah, I'm jumping in. Yep, yep. Uh, 
<laughs> mm-hmm. And then... Who's that? Hello, <laughs> and the High Commander obviously uh, does his uh, jump in as well uh, as the last shot of that particular uh, scene. We then cut to um, all of you falling through darkness. Now, I think everybody but Eric can see in the dark, right? Up I to 60 feet. Um, I have my dancing lights. <laughs> not right now, you don't. And uh, <laughs> you're falling just to the part where when you start to look up, you can no longer see the sky. Like it gets very, uh, very, very dark. Yeah. And then, so uh, this is quite a big fall then. Yeah. Oh, you keep... Like, you you keep down about four or five times if you're screaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a couple of deep breaths as you go down. Like, <gasps> I'll just wait till I feel like the, the, the ground's coming. It's fine. Um, <laughs> and then um, yeah so you, you fall 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 like I think as well which you lose sight of Aramos as he falls into the darkness before you you know um, even with the distance and the jump between you uh, and yeah just before you hit the ground because obviously those that can see the ground obviously uh, your, your kind of black and white monochrome visual of the ground since Dark visions, black and white. Uh, you uh, you start to see that. And I don't know. Maybe you panic. Maybe you don't. I don't know how people feel about that. Kitty's obviously positioned to land on her feet. That'll break all of the bones in her body. But that's fine. It's cats. And then um, <laughs> cat logic. Yep. And just before you hit the ground, um, there's like a sudden burst where you just kind of explode in kind of golden light that just like neutralizes all your inertia. And then you kind of like just like maybe like a foot off the ground, and then you fall. And hit the bottom, and as you see, like the kind of burst of gold light, you see like a bunch of them almost like burst uh, around you, and we move. I think that's uh, the pendant working then. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, all these pendants break, by the way, off your necks. They just explode in the gold light. Oh. Yay! One use only. Uh, Fun. Just scroll down, guys. Yeah, it's right down the bottom left. Like, oh wow, this thing is massive. This looks kind of like a dungeon, by the way, but yeah, okay. I can't even see anything. This is ace. Right down the you bottom. can, you should be able to see one thing. And oh, yeah, I can see one thing. You should be able to see the high commander. I can see Erebus, Reach, and Kitty as well, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Can everyone roll initiative? I don't remember where initiative is. Top medal. Uh, also, you need to click on your tokens, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. Uh, oh. Right. Nice. Two falls in a row. Yeah, combat. Kit is turning to go the natural. <laughs> Crits. Right, so let's delete all the doublers here. We Man, get... I wrote an eight, rolled an 18 first as well. I'm just going to delete all of these and just add you all manually. Why are you not <laughs> surprised? Right, so let's add every day a turn. So, add turn. Add turn. Let's skip that. Add turn. I'll do him in a second. Add turn. Add turn. Add turn. Right, what did everybody get? I think Kitty got like a 20 whatever it was, 23. 23, yeah. That's fine, you can have that. Each can have your oh. 17. Unless was your other one higher? No, that was 17. 19. Oh, one. 19 for you. Uh, Crumber, you can have your 18, I don't mind that. Yay! So I just, I just deleted, because it had the old initiative, I just deleted it all off. Uh, well, do you want your 4 or your 4? Uh, you can have your uh, 4. I'll take the 4. <laughs> um, <laughs> You sure? I didn't realise we were rolling with an uh, advantage, but anyway. Uh, you weren't, but it's a. Uh, <laughs> you're rolling with a. Uh, shut the hell up. And uh, <laughs> Wow. Uh, he's obviously making sure yeah. everybody's okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's brushing him off the dust before he <laughs> does anything. Yeah. Surely I should have rolled initiative with disadvantage, but I guess falls disadvantage enough. Yeah. Now you just see everybody else getting prepared around you. Uh, right. Does Aramos not get a uh, <laughs> No. <laughs> he can't fight. Yes, he can. He may not be good at it, but he can fight. 
Oh, oh they might not be able to fight, but it can certainly take damage. Oh, that was probably the best that way that could have went for you guys. Yep. <laughs> yep. Right, okay. So. Kitty. Hi. Hello. She seems to think she hits thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, that's Crumber. Yeah, I'm just measuring. That's not your turn. Go off the map. <laughs> 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 what doing? You're in combat. Already. Enemies to the northwest. I can see them. Where's the northwest? The other side from the southeast. Where's the southeast? Oh my god. <laughs> I can't even see. So, see for everybody's uh, benefit. This is the token image, right? But let me just show you how much worse it is. Everybody looking at that just now, yeah? That looks yeah. like my ex-wife. <laughs> so, let me just show you now how much worse that is when you actually see the full artwork, which for some bizarre reason is cut to bits. It's a weird... See the way they've cut the token? It's very strange. Let me put this just in our 5e chat. Oh, that is my ex-wife. Like yeah. Oh, uh, wow. Fuck it. Very oh, weird. Sorry, bad word. <laughs> what? Sue. Kitty. So we have three of them to fight. Cool. That we can see. Yeah. Sure, three. Yeah, sure. That you can see. That I can see so far. Yeah, yeah they, they, I was about to say that you can see because I can't see any of them. So. As in, you. you should be able to see though. Wait, is that the one next? Is that the thing next to us? No, there should be a paladin. There's one. Thing. Um, are you, you should be able to see, like, that one. One sec, I think I need to move myself around a bit. No! But I am trusting you if you say that there if is one up everybody there. everybody clicks on their token, right, so their tokens are highly, moves one to the left and one to the right on the D-pad, on their, uh, so long as they've actually got their token selected without the, yep. It should update the map for you. Also, two people are standing on top of each other. There we go. Oh. But I mean the arrow keys, Stu. Deep is like a, a console gamer term. Crumbar is dancing. Right. Mm. Right. And then go back to your original position. It's an update on drop map lighting. So that should make sure that everybody can see what they can see. If you can't, I can't help you anymore. Oh, okay, okay. It was just very in the shadows, yep. and my actual eyes were not finding <laughs> it on the map. Not my mm -hmm. character el half elfish eyes. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so Kay, what's happening? Still your turn? Uh, so, oh, what's the distance? I think. Um... Oh, is it ready? Probably. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm no, gonna check. equip. What? Don't need to do that. <laughs> just occasionally casts spells. I don't know if you've noticed this, but just randomly <laughs> casts spells. I feel it's like not, it's, it's, it's not letting me close it. There we go. <laughs> that he just sneezes and something happens. Yeah. <laughs> like the magic's like we've been waiting here for ages, mate. Like what? What, what gives? <laughs> yeah. So uh, what's happening, uh, Kitty? So I'm gonna equip my hand crossbow. Mm -hmm. I can't remember, what's the range on things though? Is it six? No. Hand crossbow. Yeah. So whenever in doubt, write it somewhere you know. So see if you just click hand crossbow, as in to make the attack. See how it says 3120 underneath it? From that, please. Scott. We are trying to Oh do my things. god, am I still clicking? Sorry. Stop it. Right, Put your sheet away. I'm just going <laughs> to be as a compendium. So. So I have to be within 30 feet. Yep. Okay, so. Um, so you'll need so to move to make a shot. Yep. Yeah. So that is, I need to move to that square. Yeah. At least stay yeah. anyway. I will. That would probably be enough. Though. Oh God, I'm so crap at remembering. Uh, press S and Q. Those are the shortcuts between Q is the measuring tool and S is the select tool. I find that easier yeah, to do that. Yeah, I just, I just tend to forget which square. It's okay. S to shift, Q to, yeah. 
see. So I'm gonna move myself to that one. Oh. The... What was that? You were sitting there, Katie? Nothing. Nothing. Just swearing under my breath. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to target that one. Okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna obviously roll again because. Yeah, because that was that was just to let you know. That. Yeah. Oh. Got a six now. Nope, it does not hit. Uh, Doesn't hit anything randomly behind it, no? Oh, she can't see. She can't see. <laughs> it just flies off into the darkness, really. <laughs> Mark off a bolt, oh. my friend. And Anything well, else? Any more movement? Turn, then? No. no, you've got bonus action, you've got movement, so you've moved essentially 10. Mm. You've still got more movement, you've also got if you have any bonus actions. Uh. You'd probably get to there if you really wanted to. No. Good. Well. I, I guess I do, but nothing I could really use. And turn then? Yeah, end my turn. Aria, you're up. I will do something very similar. I will move closer to the thing. So I'll be moving here. Okay. Oh, there they are. <laughs> and I believe you said it's Q to properly measure. Mm -hmm. Right. So I press Q. And now let's see if it. Uh, no, why is it making a square? I don't want it to make a square. No. Did you press Q once? You're not holding Q. Oh, you need to hold it. No, okay. no, no, no. You press Q once and it switches the mode. Only if. See if you go up to the cog in the top right. Okay. And then, does use advanced keyboard shortcuts have a tick? Under the music volume I'll slider. Press one moment. Uh, use advanced keyboard shortcuts. No, it didn't. Take it. Okay. And then go back to your chat box. And then the Q and S should work now. There you go. Yes, yes, I'm at 35 feet, so I actually need to be closer. You really don't. You have a bow, not a crossbow. Yeah, I think it's 16. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, it's okay. Sure. So basically, all I've done is I've moved a little bit, and mm -hmm. I have uh, um, prepared my my bow for. No, you can you can still fire. You can, yeah. can I? Oh. So you draw okay. your bow as part of your act, uh, part of your movement. Sorry, draw your bow. Oh, okay, okay. Right. I get it. And I you've only it, moved it. twenty feet. True. So you've got ten more feet to move if you want. Oh, sorry, yeah, ten more feet for you, and you can take that. After you've made your attack, or no, it doesn't matter. Uh, but you can make your attack now, and your bow probably has about eighty foot range. Sure. Okay, okay, okay. I'm being an idiot then. It's okay. That must be what it is. It's been a while since we've done combat, so. Yeah. True. Um. So you would hit your your bow at this point. It's in the middle of your yeah, target Yeah, sec. One sec, one sec. Ah, there you are. I mean, there that hits. Uh, you're at 80 and 320 is your range. Click on short bow. Oh. Also, you never told me who who your target was. was oh, shoot. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, It would be the... Yeah, that's that one. That's fine, yep. And then just so you should know in the future, guys, if you don't declare targets, I probably will make you reroll, but I'm keeping that one because it's a good hit. So sure, that's a, thank you. That's okay. So that's 10 damage total. Let me just open this thing's sheet up. Well, I mean, it definitely hits, you'll be pleased to hear. Woohoo! Does it look any uglier, or is it still just the same? Oh, it looks like it just took an arrow to a... well, I don't know if I can describe what bit it took an arrow to, but to itself. <laughs> um, it doesn't look like it like that at all, that looks like it was a pretty decent hit. Yeah. 
Yep, yep. Okay, that'll, that'll have to be me then. Can still move 10 feet, remember? Do they, do they look like they have any sort of weapons? They like look like 5e chat. Look, look in the 5e chat. Yeah, 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 but I'm, I'm, I'm look, saying that could be an example of literally one. Just, like, that's what, you look at, that's what you're looking at. Uh, okay, right. so they're all exactly like that. Okay, that's fine. Does that thing, does that arm thing with another creature, does that look like, like it's an accordion, not, not like it could stretch? That's his mouth. Mm. Or another mouth. It's one of them. Don't know. Yeah. Can't really tell. Oh, shit. Just looks kind of uh, gross and fleshy. Are you wondering if he's gonna, like, lash out? I'm wondering if he's what, gonna, he's kinda like, one -punch throw it? it at me, kind of, okay. like, you know, like... Wonder that in the background, though. Are you done with your turn? Because okay. that's the way we want to speed this okay. up a bit. Sorry. And you've okay. still got yes, 10 yes. feet of movement and a bonus action. Keep in mind you've still got a bunch of options. Well, the thing is, if I thought it could be like an accordion thing, I'd want to move a bit back. Then move back. You still well, got ten feet. I don't know. And you've still got the range, right? So your bow does eighty. So keep yeah. in mind, like you have. Anyway, okay, I'll. If you hide behind the Erasmus, I will be disappointed. Eramos. <laughs> Eramos. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to change his name. To F <laughs> what is Erasmus? I need Google. <laughs> It's the exchange program within Europe. Yep. Right, be it. I did tell you this when you first said it. Right, you're moving yourself. Trying to. Click S. Yes, Select. I was. Could be the Mexican. Okay, okay done now, sorry. That's okay, done. Grumbar, Dinabic. Come on down. Alright, so how far are we? So I can move 30 feet to there. And then if you need be, you could take the dash action and move it up to another 30 if you really wanted to. Or yeah, you could hold yeah, an action. Yeah. For, ex I, for example, you could move up 30 feet and say, I attack the first creature that comes in range of my hammer. But that would, oh, right. you, you you'd, that? you'd want to specify that more than that. So if you say that and then Kitty walks up next to you, she counts as a creature and you'd hit her. But if you specify first I'd be okay with that. <laughs> aggressive enemy creature, then yeah. Mm. Right, well, first of all, I'm just going to move... In fact, does that have a range? Does what have a range? 30 feet less. So, if I move to... So, uh, bless is range 30 feet up to three creatures of your choice. It's concentration sure. up to a minute. So I'm a move combi. Combi goes rushing up to there. Holy crap. <laughs> Crumbar goes Measure is going back. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, Crumbar is going to just uh, go back. Uh, so I'm going to rush up to here. Also, don't joke move your token because I will take those as actions. Because keep in mind, if you move past things as a joke, you'll get attacked towards you, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so... Gonna change what I was gonna do. Okay. I, I was gonna use Bless, but instead, <laughs> upon seeing the horror that lies in front of me... Uh, what's the spell called? Um, Field of Faith. Okay. Gonna cast that on myself. Okay. And, uh, right, so yeah. pip yourself with like a shield icon. So if you click on your token and go to the circle at the very bottom. Okay. Oh. So circle at the very bottom. And, and then, then see if you scroll that. down to the very, very bottom. Um, yep. And then it's like three row, on the third row maybe, up. There's like a shield with lightning bolts on it. Yep. Yep. There we go. And will I just change, can I change my armor? Flat, uh, no, that's okay. Like, I'll, I'll deal with that. Because um, it adds two, right? So we just know yeah. that your armor class is up by two. Um, yeah, so now, there. for that, that's why we pip you, uh, to know that we don't change anything on your character sheet. Oh, that wait, way. that's a bonus action. I just realized Yep, that. but what I'm going to say as well is, so that's pip there, that was your bonus action. Have you marked down your spell slots? I'm just doing that now. Good, good. How many spell so slots total do you have? I have slots total three, slots remaining two. Oh, cool. Crap, I, and if you I click just, on those cogs, they'll get rid of the wall of text. 
Right, cool. I've somehow just made it to my slots remaining on negative one. I don't know how you've done that. That's incredible. Let's just uh, do that and fix it. There we go. Thank you. And uh, I don't read stuff in this. Read stuff in Compendium because then you yeah, avoid yeah, stuff um, like that. Right. Um, so because I've oh crap, sorry guys. Um, yep. Right, because I've still got an action left, don't I? Then. So okay. That was a also, I'm gonna put in a an item for this. So custom label is shield and then of for of faith uh, and then that is was it 10 10 rounds a minute 10 minutes 100 100 rounds okay 100 uh, let's see add custom item let's see uh, minus one add does that work did that even add anything to this are you adding that to my inventory or? No, I'm adding it to the turn order. Uh, give me a second. Ah, oh, right, okay. Because it lasts for 10 minutes. Why is this not adding? Is anybody else seeing things getting added to the initial order? No. Okay, so nope. shield nope. of faith. And then put 100 in this and add. Hmm. That's so bizarre. Let me close that and open that up again. Turn order. Right, and then. Right, we've lost Kitty. That's fine. Yep. She'll come back. Welcome back, Kitty. And Hello. Right, add item label. Shield of Faith. And then get rid of this thing here, and then add. Why is that not adding to the turn order? That is annoying. We should be able to mark this as a thing. We add it as a person? Yeah, we've, we've been able to add it. I wonder if there's something new that I don't understand. Okay, item label, add, what is this? Clear turns, uh, alphabetically, add custom label, shield of faith. Round calculation is a minus one. So text on over one. Add that in. Still nothing. I don't understand that. Right, okay, so. Round. I uh, guess 100. Shield of faith. And we'll just. Well, we'll do it the old fashioned way. <laughs> Yay, right. Um, so, because I've still got an action left as well. Yep. So, in the bonus action in my. Last action, uh, bonus action. I grasp hold of my pendant, holy symbol, uh, and then a bright glow surrounds my body, and then I bring my hammer up in a nice ready stance, waiting to hit the first demony aggressive thing that comes towards me. Oh, so it comes in. You could range. equip your shield. Don't you have a shield? Nah, Is that another thing you have? Two hander. Two hander. No. Okay. Uh, cool. Two hander. Cool. So are you going to prepare uh, an action, sorry? Yeah, so I'll prepare an attack. Right, so do you just write and um, prepare and then tell me the trigger phrase because it needs a very specific trigger phrase. So What do you mean? As in you tell me That's what the trigger for is. Anything that comes in range. Oh right, sorry, I thought you meant like I had to say something. You do, tell me. What do you, like, so you need to tell me well, when you did say the first demon-y thing that comes in. Yeah. attack. But I mean, he needs to type it so that we can't argue about it later. What he said his his trigger was for the prepared action, because it is very specific. The rules for that. For example, if say nothing can. Entity. They are. They, <laughs> these are classed. I'm guessing these are classed as demons. Yeah. I mean, no, but you think of them as demons, which matters for your trigger, if that makes sense. Okay. Like, I'm not gonna like quibble about that. You don't necessarily know the stats of creatures. Do I mean that's a meta thing? But it is attack the first thing that comes into range, for example, is a bad trigger. Yeah, because like you were saying, that would yeah. mean like I could smash a kitty in the face. Yep, that's Which fine. Which wouldn't be too bad. That's Oi! Right, now pip yourself with something else, like, I think it's the, the stop signs that I've got it for you. That will be the the hold held action thingy, right? 
So it's just like you know that way, like when you go see like a baseball match and the guy, the batters, just yeah, batter up, just waiting on one of them coming into range. Yep. So he walks forward. He starts glowing gold, and he holds up his hammer. So he probably looks pretty bitching. Um, yeah, my turn tracker is fucky. Let me just refresh my entire browser. Uh, it's reach. It's your go anyway. Cool. I'm refreshing my browser. See if it's. Yeah, it still says it's my go. I've not moved it forward, that's why. Because it won't let oh, me. Right. It's probably because of the size of this map. This is a large map. I'm going into the attack and... Oh, shit. Yeah. Did you mean to go that far? I did mean to go that far, but yeah, I was hoping it wasn't too many panels, but okay. Be my guess, mate. So you've got 40 feet of movement, yeah? Yeah. Good man. Cool, that's your move. <laughs> uh, attack the one immediately north of me. Uh, hands. Okay, give me a second to see if this turn. I do hit him. Yeah, my turn order is all screwy on mine. 30 feet? Is that because my radiant strength? So that's, doesn't, that's wrong. What's up? You have an attack range of 30 feet? Uh, no, that, that that's for, um, that's because of your new feature. Yeah. So, this is just a normal unarm strike, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so why is it adding all your uh, why is there a plus two? Yeah. So it's sixteen to hit. And then it's cool. Cool. plus two because you're proficient and plus three from your deck. So that makes sense. Oh. I'll get a plus five, that's all normal, Aye. yeah. Aye, so that's normal, feet. yeah. Well no, thirty yeah. feet's because of your ability to throw punches now. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Are you Luffy? <laughs> Not quite. Uh, you ain't got a straw hat. Seven e uh, what do I want to do after that? Right, so that's yeah. on. I think it's also not radiant. Your normal punches are they? I it needs to be your. Think they're non-radiant. Yeah, I think my normal that's just your so ranged ones are radiant. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Also, he has a ranged attack now. He punches radiant balls of light at things if he wants now. That's an option he gets. Uh, yeah, I really can't edit that turn order just now. So bear with me. I'll try and sort that out in a second. Uh, right, so that's seven damage to the one north, right? Uh, yeah. Let me double check that. Uh, yep. Yep, you punch in. It's a bit squidgy. Squidgy, yeah. Like, you know you've landed a good hit, but at the same time, normally you know where you're hitting on your body. Yeah. This doesn't necessarily follow those rules. I'm just gonna close this browser entirely and reopen it uh, while we're waiting. Uh, yeah, so that was your action, yeah. Right. So let's move an action. What else? Good to be able to do. Yeah. Because be remember, you've got your your martial arts stuff. There we go. Yeah. My turn order is updated now. Finally, it's not moved you guys, but it's given me a bunch of shield of faiths that I can go delete now. Ah, bonus action, just another punch, right? Two seconds, mm -hmm. I put the turn order around here. Well, don't you get an extra attack? This is your martial arts, isn't it? You just get an extra attack if you choose to. Is that not a, a thing? I think it's the one if I spend a key. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm pretty sure it's if you look at your martial arts. Martial arts, martial arts. There we go. That gives me a second or two to add nonsense to this turn order. There we go. Let's shove this behind Crumbar. You're doing what behind me? Uh, just a shield. So that was on for that round. So technically, it's it. Aye, I'll be fine. I'm gonna put that at the very bottom of the order. Oh, did you get it working? Yeah, I just had oh, to. Oh, right, right. Yep, yep. Gonna. In fact, does this work for everybody? If I close that and then open that again. Don't know if everybody's got individual 
turn order nonsense, but it's updated for me. Which is nice. You should say shield of and have a hundred in it. Yeah, I don't have it. No. Close your uh, in fact yeah, close the initiative tracker and then open it with a little clock again. Okay. That, do you have that? Or is it that? No. We don't have that. Did it close two seconds ago and open again? Oh yeah, whenever you were talking yeah. about So underneath it. underneath the enemy thing, you've got the three and then you've got the two and then you should be a hundred. You still have that now? No, nope. I've got twenty three then. Mm. Yeah. It's okay. I can see it. It's fine. Yeah. That's the real that, yeah, yeah, I'll track it. Should show up, but I don't know, things are being a bit interesting. It's all the lighting levels though in this level that will slow us down a bit. But it's a big map. Nothing there about me getting extra. Right. So let's see. Use dexterity, blah blah blah. Equality four, blah blah blah. When you use the attack action uh, on your turn, you can make one unarmed a uh, strike as a bonus. Yeah, so it's just a bonus. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So your bonus action will be to punch again, I guess. Yeah. It'd be nice to make an end one to his head, but other than that, ah, <laughs> uh, there's no kind of cold shots really in this. Yeah. Uh, Nice. Oh, well, that'll oh, do, right? Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> it'll do. God, clip max and clip minus. Right. Yeah, it, I mean, it doesn't look good. Definitely doesn't. Yeah, another hit like that is probably a, another good hit in a right, because maybe like your first hit is your guiding hit going, okay, this is too squidgy. Okay, if this is squidgy, punch here, you know. <laughs> and it was definitely a harder hit. Right, and it's your turn. Eric. I need to light this place up because I can't see shit. Twitch plan. Dance and lights. Cool. Shoot to me, an old duck. <laughs> Is that all following the rules of dancing lights? Do you want to put uh, the, the text in the. Pretty sure I could just like ping forward, right? Put the text. Or oh, wrong one. <laughs> now I'm Range 120 feet. I uh, concentration oh, up to a minute. Nice. So can you pip the uh, mind bullets one? Mind bullets. So if you click, you, you could, you yep, perfect. Totally. I think shield of faith concentration, right? Or is that just a? I don't think it is actually. Let me just scroll back up um, for the many times it's been pressed. Yeah, it is concentration. Make give yourself a mind symbol as well, Crumbar. Mind symbol. Yeah, it's the like psychic lines one from a brain. Uh, is that the one where the guy looked angry? I think so. That one. Yeah. Keep moving, moving like heavy far up. I can only move them 20 feet within each other though. Oh, can you? Right, so I thought you could move them 60 within each other. You can move up to 60 feet to a new spot within range, but the light must be within 20 feet of another right, light created by the spell. Okay. So they need to kind of be like daisy chinned. Oh, hello, I see you. So do I. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> I mean, I'm seeing five just now. How many are you seeing? Now, five. this is another thing that I think I might have to um, affect. Yeah, so you can't see them. That's just what that thing lights up. See your, your view range yeah. from your character. See if you're holding Control L when you've got your token highlighted. Mm -hmm. This is mostly for uh, Eric's benefit. Control L. Control L. What's that do? When you click on your token Nothing. and hold Control L. Nothing's happening. Nope. Nothing happens. I just highlight my um, my URL. It must be a different type of shortcut for you then. Essentially, these lights aren't viewpoints for you. You can't see from them. You can just see the light cast by them, which means I'm going to have to start placing that shit for you. Because because you have control over them, you can see from that point of view. Make sense? Huh. So I need to be... For example, draw a line of sight. see the light. No, like, see here, you can see this from where yeah. you are. This is like a wall, so you can't see round corners. Okay. Which means anything that light sees, you can't see. Because if they are looking at stuff this way, 
or this way. Do you see what I mean? Does that make yeah. sense? I think it makes sense. I, I, so I should be able to see up to reach that, yeah? Yeah. Because there's nothing in the way that I can see, at least. Yeah, I'm going to change. Where are the... Where's the player handout templates? Yeah, there we go. Templates. Dancing lights. And they... Let me just go adjust it. I see what's to the left of me as well. Yeah, yeah. I can see the... Uh, there's three I can see, but with uh, my character, I can see all three. I think I can, but obviously I can't see if there's any walls to the right of them. Players can see has say, I think that's what I've done wrong. That should be save changes, and then remove, confirm, use, and save. Theory, that's fine. And then let me copy and paste. Get rid of that. I think this is what you've done. Ah, yes, okay, I can see that. Does that make more sense now? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I understood what you were saying. I was yeah, just like, there we go. I no, it's just a, it's something I hadn't considered it. about the way the lighting works in this game. Yeah. There's placement of the plus also field of view from him. I can yeah. yeah, it's just when you yeah. control a token, you can see from the token, and all those tokens had sight, which was wrong. Yeah. That yeah, was my like bad. I, there we go. The only thing that's changed is this wall here. Yeah, but that's important. Yeah. 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 Not too important in this one, but. We'll but see. no, it was good to to test this out anyway because it's something we've never actually used yet. Done, yeah. But yeah, so a whole bunch of random kind of blue electrical light appears. That's what I did. Yeah, they could get it. <laughs> yeah, they just kind of like form in my hands, and I just got. I kind of start throwing them like little key blasts on uh, Dragon Ball. Yes. <laughs> um, right. So before before uh, we jumped, I really wanted to uh, equip a crossbow, but we kind of just jumped. Exactly. So you've done your action. You can pull your crossbow as part of a move now. Movement. Yeah. 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 Uh, you also still have thirty feet of movement. I don't know why yours does that. See that stupid. Oh yeah, it's because I hold Alt. So it does whatever the hell it wants. I don't like that. <laughs> right, where are we moving to? I don't even know what range my crossbow has. Is it 30 or 60? Why don't you just click it? And we'll disregard the rule. It's just holding Alt do. It doesn't do anything for me. It does. Well, one button. It's that one I wanted. So it's got okay, 80. 80. Yeah. Cool. So I can, uh, okay, I'll just uh, ready my crossbow. And if, uh, can I, I can't do a prepared, uh, act, act, like, action, can I? It's can also going to, the shot that you're going to do, no, because you've done your action. Like, yeah. the only thing you can do is draw it. You can still move, though. Also, that's going to be a disadvantage for you, because he's in the dark. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to move myself next to my light. Uh, Let's see if I can actually. I hate the defaults to have my name in here. Yeah. Let's see rules. Rules, 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 rules. There's something about a dim light as well. I don't get that just now. Doesn't affect folk with dark vision, obviously, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Quick put this up. Uh, have you made your move? Yeah. You're happy there? Nah. Cool. Next will be Gil. Good old Gil. Uh, Did you shoot or what? It, it, no, his action was to cast the lights. Yeah, yeah. otherwise I want to be able to see shit. <laughs> I don't know that was right. Yeah. Cool. I'm still wondering why Reach wants to die so badly. <laughs> I think it's more he doesn't want you guys to die so badly. It's like, I'm the most tankiest, so surely I should be in front. Mm. Feel free, but anyway, but I'm quicker, so yeah. Yeah. Also, okay. well, I guess too dangerous. What I love though is like, like, Crumbar runs up, starts glowing gold, gets rid of the hammer, and then Reach bolts past him and punches a guy twice. There's <laughs> <laughs> all these what blue about, lights crackle open. What about Eremos? What's he doing? Is he just chilling next to Gale? He's hopefully just chilling. Yeah, chilling's a word. Um, yeah. Right, okay, so let me uh I'm 
Everything's gonna go there. And then he's gonna go. About time, boss. I was wondering what you were doing. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where are the other pilots? Are they all taking the same turn order as Gil? Oh, have you just noticed they're not here? I, I, I can't see shit! <laughs> Oh, they're all dead, aren't they? Oh, rip. I'm gonna find them dead. I mean... I doubt they're dead, but they're probably next to us or something, but we'll think about that in a minute. We've got other things to think about. Maybe there are multiple landing spots and we kind of got separated or something. A plus seven on that and rolls an eleven. Eh? Uh, let's see. Right, so this one, I'm just gonna pip it in red. A Guiding Bolt is a very good spell. I'll reduce exactly what it does. Guiding Bolt. Because you hit with that. Flash of Light streaks towards the creature of your choice on a range. Make a range spell attack. On a hit, it takes damage. It's taken the damage. The next attack roll made against this target before the end of your next turn has advantage. Thanks to the mystical dim light glowing on it. See rolls like that, we're happy if the enemy does it, but see when our allies do it, we're not so happy about it. <laughs> Can you turn that off? <laughs> what the The one one four three but one one and eleven and nine. This was that was four and I mean his eleven hit, so I don't know what you're complaining about. Right, uh, yeah, that's still... <laughs> <laughs> I mean I can't help that. Okay. <laughs> I, think, I think you try harder. <laughs> ah, you're right. So, sorry, Gail, take it back. Drag. Um, but yeah, so he like runs forward and then he just kind of like thrusts his sword out and this big beam of white light, kind of white golden light, smashes into this thing. And it's still kind of glowing gold, this thing. Uh, yeah, that's his go. Their turn. Oh dear. So, yeah, so that's fine. How many attacks did they get? This one's gonna go for everyone's favorite orc. Wait, there's one next to me. Or next to Kumba. Uh, I didn't realize Shrek was in this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So does that mean I can use my pen ready action to? It does indeed. Yup. So, oh no, he's an ogre, not an orc. Will I, will I use that the now? Yeah, you do it now, yeah. It takes effect now. Yep. That hits. Uh, and then... It... Yes! Crumbar swings his hammer and punches the thing in its hand face. Yep. And its hand face loses its bottom jaw. <laughs> Uh, it does not look great at all. Uh, can you remove the middle pip yeah, that you've got? The, 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 aye, good, good. The um, right, while you're doing that, I'll make my attack. What's your AC? 18? Oh, it's not. It's t your AC is 20, because you've got like, two uh, more. Yeah, 20. Well, but, 18 uh, plus 2. It's okay. It hits. Take 4 slashing. No. And make a con save. Yeah, I was worried uh, about that. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's okay. Con should be fine. Yeah. Yep. That's you. You sorted. Yep. And then con save. Also, guys, you know, it's a, a good tip. I don't know if you know this or not, but see if you don't have your character sheet open, and you double click on your token by holding left shift and double click on your token, it should open your character sheet. Oh, nice. Yeah, I learned that the other day. It's so good. I just kind of keep my minimized. Yeah. Also, the um. That's perfectly fine. That's more than enough to save. That save was your concentration check. Oh. To right. hold your shield. So they're not undead and infected. I can so tell you that, but this, it's more to do with he's concentrating on a spell. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, to hold, yep. to keep my um, yep. shield of faith. Exactly. Yeah. So that's sorted. Um, see if you'd lost it in the first fucking turn after trying to sort out that yeah. tracker. Yeah. That'd have been hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> I think the word you're looking for is shit. It's yeah. not hilarious. Right, next up is right this thing 
And let's face it, it's probably just going to go forward and have a go at you. Yeah. I'll look nice and tasty. So we uh, well, I mean, that doesn't hit you. And then the next one. Well, that'll hit. That's, yeah. How much is that? Ouch. That is a fucking tasty hit. Yeah. That is a tasty hit, isn't it? Why can I not? You're on the. You need to click S, yeah. S. That's a brutal hit. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oof, I have HP straight away. Yup. I mean, did you think the Abyss was going to be nice? No. It could, could have been, it could have had cake and friends. That's a miss. Cake and friends. How much arm AC does freaking Gil have? Was that 24? He's in full plate armour. Yeah. Also, cool. the 23 isn't his attack, the 20 is. This thing isn't getting advantage. Oh yeah, yeah, no, That's I'm just saying, one. how much does he have? Oh my god, I can see it glow quickly as it moves, so scary. <laughs> so, uh... I think... Let's see... I'm done. Show the faith text down. Good, it's working. And it's up to you guys. Do you want to do one more round, or do you want to call it here? What's oh, that? I need to be up early. So. It's okay. Yeah, we'll call it here then, because that's the round cycled back round, which makes sense to call here. So we're at the start. I'll put Kitty up at the front. And yeah, so I think we fade out in the battle. Okay. Yeah. So let us take ourselves back to our title screen. Right, so, goal chat first. What's the thoughts on the goal? Go alive, unlikely. <laughs> uh. So find out what's happening at the Abyss. Well, that's in, that's in progress. Return from the Abyss, long term, yep. So I think goals are happy to stay as is, unless you just want to change them. No. Yeah, I'm no. quite happy with the goals. Good, good. Uh, in that case, let's say uh, name the session first, I guess. What's the thoughts on the name? The abysmal. <laughs> teeth, <laughs> teeth of the abyss. I don't know. Not, but, uh, I, I was trying to think how funny of this thing that we could say. The jaws of the abyss. Yeah. For some reason, I have that stupid song in my head uh, that they made out of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> that bit about, we're taking the Hobbit to Isengard, we're taking the Hobbit to Isengard. And I, oh, my so brain nice. is trying very hard to make it um, to make it into a thing about this, but it's not working. Yeah, uh, the Abyss know, looks back. Good, but, uh, uh, <laughs> many teeth of the Abyss. Yeah, I feel like if we have the Abyss look back, we need to steer into the Abyss as a title before, mm. just saying. Mm. Mm. Any thoughts then? Anyone jump out at you besides these things? <laughs> First look at the Abyss. <laughs> I don't share Abyss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the word, isn't it? Definitely. Can this be this was a bad idea? <laughs> <laughs> well, whose idea was this? What would you say? Into the abyss? <laughs> into the abyss, yeah. I think. Yeah. That's a good yeah. generic one. There we go. Into the abyss. These are all still level 3. Uh, and no XP issued as of yet. There we go. Yep. Uh, let's do our review then. Let's start with uh, Reach for a change. Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we need to finish now? But yeah. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
thought about cliff. Actually, the cliffhanger would have been a minute. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's quite a. It's good to get a round of combat in though, and then leave it. I like yeah, that. It's uh, it is good. Um, you know what's we're mm -hmm. facing now mm -hmm. for this. Yeah, it's also good for MD that wants to in the downtime between to relearn what you can do at level three now. Um, I would highly recommend everybody familiarise yourselves with your characters because you'll be in here for a while. I think it's level four now. Really, we need that's the important thing. <laughs> and, uh, and then level five afterwards, swiftly if possible. Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I need level five for shield of protection right now. I think. <laughs> I mean, you're doing okay, right? You've still got your yeah, shields, yeah. You're not, you're not, in the, you're not in a reach position, right? Yeah, he's gonna die. Guys. But this is Stu's curse, though. Technically, what? Yeah, but, Going yeah. boss to the wall, and <laughs> yes, that is, I mean, to be fair, he did a really fucking solid couple of hits, though. So I mean, like, as I said, another good hit. That thing's looking like it might not be there anymore. So yeah, I think in a couple of hits, neither was Stu. It might not take a couple, <laughs> that's mm. the problem, but yeah. I just locked out with that crit. Crits are disgusting, you just know that. Dead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so if that's your review, yep, Sophie. <laughs> what, my review? Yeah, just our cooldown. We always chat about the game afterwards. Just a wee summary of the session. Well, I think something I thought of afterwards would have been funny if like Erimar sort of looking in sort of being like oh I don't really want to jump into there and I just sort of walk past jump in but do that thing where you turn and just sort of like give him the finger uh -huh. <laughs> as I fall down <laughs> that would have been That'd really have been funny good. and I thought of it like <laughs> afterwards I was like dang it <laughs> <laughs> like quick everybody like, rewind <laughs> climb back out <laughs> we have to jump in again it's <laughs> good that is good um, any other thoughts on the session then? Or it was just really funny where yeah. everyone was just like, "Oh yeah, there's creatures there," and, and er Eric's like, "What creatures? Mm -hmm. I can't see anything." <laughs> where is everybody? <laughs> uh, also, Eric, the reason why you could see the high commander because he glows slightly. Oh, yeah, I'm a, I am. Yeah. I. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Does he cast glow around him at all? Like, it does. Uh, it's for like one foot essentially, and uh, that's why Eric could just see everybody. <laughs> yeah, but also oh, that, that explains things. Uh, whoever's attacking him in the future, I'm just thinking. Um, it That'd just means he's very visible in the dark, yeah. Uh, but not anything around him, no. What do you mean by that? Sorry. Uh, oh. So yeah. he glows, yeah. and that yeah. gives off. One of the beasties is in his face. Could we see the beastie? Yeah. Uh, if if you somehow couldn't see in the dark, yeah. 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 Right. Cool. <laughs> yeah, but you was all seeing the dark yeah, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. No. Like, Casting a sp uh, light spell sometimes, anyway. But, mm -hmm. cool. but yeah, he just naturally glows for whatever reason. Could be his armor, you know. Uh, yeah, what about you, Crumbar? And that is going to get refunds on ours. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Hand your orc back. Also, I think I know why none of the Golden is Order have managed to come back alive. They're They've got signs on them saying, eat me. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Crumbar? Thoughts? Session? Review? I'm... And I, I know that Arya and that were against it, but I'm so happy the kid's with us. <laughs> I really am, because I think, I think it's going to make things interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily think it will be... could turn out well, but it will be interesting. Mm -hmm. Um... I like that in this combat I have more than ju I have more options rather than just yeah. run up swing hammer. Mm -hmm. um, I know that did cause a bit of chaos in the chat when I was trying to work it's out. Okay. It's to okay. It's okay. <laughs> but you know. It's okay. Uh, it's just a learning curve anyway. We're all learning, so it's fine. I do think it's a bit like taking the kid into a hotel, like the Shining Hotel, for example. <laughs> <laughs> It was like almost nice there, Stu, taking the kid to the hotel. The Shining Hotel. Uh, the Shining Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what it was called, but yeah. Yeah, I can't either, but yeah. There's pluses and minuses, but I do still think it's the best idea all around. Yeah, it's going to be the most... You, you get to see different development firsthand instead of just being told about it later. You know, when you look out and go, why is they go and sit down on fire? You know? Yeah. Or whatever. Uh, what about you, Arya? I don't know, I mean... I'm kind of like sad that now the kid's with us because I'm like I'm, I'm totally gonna be worried mm. 
But at the same time, I don't know. It is going to be an interesting and scary journey that we're on. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm, I'm actually really excited about kicking more butt. So mm-hmm. I don't good. know when we're having our next session, but I can't wait for it already. Yeah, awesome. It is nice to kind of cut loose a bit after a lot of kind of like roleplay yeah. heavy sessions. It's nice to be like, I'm level three now, by the way. I can I have more potions. I, 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 I can, I can keep up. Yeah. I can keep up. Yeah. Also, don't forget, even though it's the worst time to tell you at the end of a session and not the start of a session, but your inspiration does a, does count for attack roll. So if you do decide that you think I don't, I want a better chance at hitting this thing, you can use yeah. your inspiration to get advantage on your attack, which is nice. Um, what about you, Eric? Uh, it's dark. Mm. <laughs> Sucks to be human. It's dark and full of terrors. <laughs> ha ha. You yeah. fell for about five screams, so yes, of course it's dark. <laughs> yeah, and he's probably attracted things with the screams, right? So, uh, yeah, yeah, it is. It's um, it's gonna be fun. I'm looking for. I've been looking for this bit for ages, to be honest. Um, uh, the map, as you can tell, is horrendous. So it's so resource intensive. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Is it? I don't know. Uh, yeah. It is. Take oh, my word for it. Um, I thought it was like a dungeon map from where we entered at the corner. But, um, I thought, oh dear, this is a big map. It's, you know when I say scroll down, it's bad. Um, <laughs> but that's fine. Yeah, this is this is gonna take a while. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I'll, I'm gonna put it out there. It's probably gonna be next session, all combat, most likely. Yeah. Um, cool. They'll be chatting and stuff because there might be breaks in the combat depending on how well you do. Do you know what I mean? But we'll. It's gonna be fairly fairly combat heavy. Uh, compared to what we've had in the past, uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Depends how long it takes for uh, the fuse to go off in a uh, Crumbar's plan that is Eremos the savior. <laughs> Mate, if it doesn't happen in like the next five turns, I'm gonna just run back, and <laughs> throw him. <laughs> Eremos just grabs you by like the the thigh and goes, Crumbar, you have to toss me. <laughs> 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 Yeet, yeet, motherfucking yeet, oh. yeet. Uh, well, and on oh. that note, then, thanks guys for playing. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we're finally in the abyss. I guess that's a good thing, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> this is no. That Thor uh, image again. <laughs> and uh, yeah, have you got anything else you want to add before we, we stop recording? Because I'm, I'm good here. I'm good. Well, next session soon, please. Yes, yeah. ne- ne- next session soon, please. Uh, yes. Yes, that's mm-hmm. that's what I have to add as well. <laughs> yep, yep, good, good. Uh, thanks for Breach. playing, guys. See you. you might need to go everything. into. Uh... Oh, sorry. No, All carry right. on. You carry on. We're still here. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, Reach should probably go into character gen for next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll prepare his next character. It's a it's one of those creatures wearing Reach's clothes. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we got a creature. <laughs> Creech. Yeah. Hey, Creech. That <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, that, that's terrible. Anyway, on that note, uh, goodbye everybody who listened this far. Thanks for putting up with us. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>